hey, I just had to tell you that the last four weeks of my life have been nothing short of miraculous. Now, let me tell you why. First, I got to connect with someone whose breakup story, boyfriend breakup story, was even worse than mine was many years ago, uh, from which I thought at the time I would never recover. I thought my life had ended, that nothing would turn out right as a result of all of that, and I just didn't really know what to do. And as I shared uh, with this woman what God did for me, when I shared how it is that he used his word and how he used circumstances in my life to finally draw me out of the pit I had put myself in at that point, I believe it made a difference for her. I could actually see it on her face. And it's that I think her, her perspective actually changed. It's sort of like saying, you know, I see it has not slain her. So maybe it will not slay me either. Perspective. It's so very important. And stories change perspectives and changed perspectives strengthen faith. That's the way that it works. A um, little while after that, a couple of weeks after that, I got to speak to a ladies group on my very favorite story in scripture, many of you have heard me say this before, it's the Shunammite woman in 2 Kings chapter 4. And it's because there's a part in that story that is so unbelievable. She is sitting outside one day and she's got her little recently weaned son on her lap and he dies. And what the woman does next blows my mind every single time I think of it, every single time I talk about it. And that is, she goes upstairs and she puts him across a bed and she leaves to go get help. The boy is dead already. She never once says the boy is dead, not once in that story. She doesn't tell her husband. She doesn't tell the servant of the man that she goes to, who is the man of God in the story. And I believe she was looking, trusting God for a resurrection. And that's why she never once talks about death. It's her perspective. Her sp perspective changes. And so what she does changes as a result. So if I could challenge you with anything at all today, remember that it is your perspective your willingness to believe what God has already said in his word, your willingness to share that with others that they may also have changed perspectives and that they can in turn share it with someone else. Like the girl with the breakup story went and shared it with a friend of hers. Two women helped because of my heartache many years ago, but which landed me in a very changed perspective that these many years later I could share that story and have something good come of it, something that's pleasing to the Lord. Don't waste your heartache. Don't waste your troubled soul. Don't waste the pit that you may be stuck in right now. Determine that you are going to change your perspective. You will have the perspective that God is intending you to have. You need to be in his word to know what that perspective is. You need to be in prayer. You need to be incorporating the word into your everyday life, whether that means writing it down in a journal, literally writing it on index cards, memorizing his words, all those things that we thought were just for kids in Awana. <laughs> no, it's for us too, as you can well imagine. And so if you're going through something now, trust that God will not waste any bit of it. And I encourage you to change your perspective and embrace whatever it is that God has brought your way.